Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Harvest Moon SNES and in this part is the first of summer. And unfortunately, the last summer in the game. Yeah, I'll hold him. Not gonna have long to do that though. Soon I'm going to phase out of this plane of existence. Alright, so... We just keep up the pattern of what we're doing, giving out gifts, being the best person we can be, until it's time for our parents to visit. I've always felt that it feels better when games have endings, but it's always hard for me to reach the ending of a good game because I really want the game to go on forever. At the same time as I'm glad this is almost over, I'm also kind of sad. Ah well, can't be helped. That's the point of Let's Plays. Give me your milk. That almost sounds like me farming for supplies in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Oh. Well, I guess I'll use Dead's as milk then. Okay. Dead's and rib. Did I milk you? I did. Alright, dead's first. Now rib. Oh, come on now. Don't get caught on the two-dimensional fences. It feels weird to think of physics in games like this, but that's a thing. Um... Milk? What was that? Alright, how much money do I have? 253,900. That was a really hard thing to say, actually. 253,900. There we go. For some reason, that reminded me of Team Fortress and playing Minecraft maps on it. Don't know why. It really shouldn't. Did I milk everyone, though? I did. I, I'm gonna double check. Not like I need to worry about my stamina. Six hundred sixteen pieces of feed. Yeah, we have more than enough to make it through the whole month. I'm probably gonna harvest some by around the middle of the month just to be safe. Yeah, that egg has been in incubation since winter of the first year, right? Somewhere around there, I think. Maybe the end of winter. But it's been there a long time. Okay, so at the end of every day, I am going to come over, water crops, plant crops, etc. Everything I need to do for that.
I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why I went in the tool shed. That's kind of weird. So we are going to do this, take an egg over to Anne, begin the process of gifting, but not the process of grafting. We don't need to do that. Tree grafting unnecessary in this game. Let me actually check how many heart points she has. Well, affection points. How many hearts? Oh, eight. Nice. Almost there then. By the end of this month, we should have it. And that's the last time I'll ever check a diary. I need my I need my happiness points to be at its maximum. Don't mind me dancing around the egg. It, it just kind of happens. Oh, I was thinking of Fossil Fighters for a second. The weird dance they do in the game. Fossil Fighters is a fantastic game. It's a great comedy, too. That's actually a pretty cheap DS game. The sequel, Fossil Fighters Champions, however, is absurdly expensive. I think it's like a hundred bucks for it opened. And if you want to just get the game, it's like 50 bucks. Such is the curse of a game not doing well. You know, don't quote me on that, actually. I don't know if it did well. I don't know much about Fossil Fighters right now, but I might in the future. I have played the first game. The first game is really fun. I played the third game. The third game is adequate. The second game, I wish I played. The second game, I wish I owned. The second game looks like a lot of fun. But I haven't actually played it, so I don't know. There we go. That's 15 AP a day if I do it right. So... For 10 days, that's 150 AP. For 20 days, that's almost a 200, no, for 20 days, 300 AP. So I should have enough by the end of the game. Dog, I haven't given you a hug in a while, dog. Come over here, get over here. Sit right here. It's closer and I can hug you easier. Plant as many as I can. Yeah, this is where I switch over to corn. Even if I don't, even if I have more than enough tomatoes left. I almost said if I don't. There we go. Now.
you know, occasionally I am uh, very tempted to make Metal Gear Solid references, but they really do not fit in here. I suppose Eve could be Eva. If anyone out there hasn't played the Metal Gear Solid games, I recommend you do so before they become super hard to find, because every one of them, as far as I'm aware, did very well. So there's a bunch of them out there. But come ten years from now, it's going to be a little bit of a different story. They're going to be much harder to get your hands on. That is a wall. My brain is having a little trouble keeping up, I guess. Off to bed. Hot recently, no rain tomorrow. That's lame. Dada. The shop is closed because it's Saturday. You don't say. Make sure to handle the child so they don't go feral. Smile at them so they don't go feral. Do not consume babies. That isn't connected to them going feral, that's just disgusting, and you might be feral. Got that out of the way, now their milk. This time I hope to do it correctly and not throw it all away. Come on, everyone, get get your fodder. I really cannot wait to play later games in the series. I know Harvest Moon 64, time passes a little bit faster, like, it goes way too quick. But, it's also an easier game. I think it's an easier game. And then there's Pioneer, Pioneers... Puh! Pioneers of Olive Town. You know, I really love olives in real life, but I don't love that olive. Sincerely, Pioneers of Olive Town are just, well, is just a really questionable game. It's not particularly fun.
Pioneers of Olive Town is that game that you show your friends and they're like, why is, why do you enjoy it? It's the black sheep of the Harvest Moon franchise now that I think about it. Are there better games in the series? I mean, are there worse games in the series? Oh, most definitely. Are there better games in the series? Oh, most definitely. And there's just not a lot of character in the game either because there's a bunch of generic townspeople in it instead of a bunch of uh, named NPCs that have their own unique personality traits and everything like that. I feel like Pioneers of Olive Town could have been a lot better. I think the same applies to most games in the series. Oh, I'm sorry. Most games in the series this early on, but Pioneers of Olive Town, as far as I'm aware, is the most recent Story of Seasons game. The fact I'm treating it as if it's a new entry well, a new series or kind of thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm comparing it more to one of the original games than one of the more recent games in my head, and that just doesn't feel like it... That doesn't feel good. That feels wrong. But I have to do that. The game feels like it's 15 years old. And it came out, I think, last year. Or did it come out this year? Oh my god, I'm just so disconnected from it. I was much more excited for the remake of Friends of Mineral Town. I only played that game a handful of times as a kid, actually. Oh, now my kid's gonna get to play it. I've got it on the PS4. I've also got it on Switch because I have the collective habit of grabbing as many games as I can. I try to only get one copy. I somehow wound up with two copies of Marvel Ultimate Alliance though. On the Wii, no the less. It was really weird to me how poorly it controlled on the Wii. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Marvel Ultimate Alliance on the Wii is borderline a tragedy. It just doesn't feel right. Nothing feels right in it. Well, the Wii port of this game worked out perfectly, so that's a good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now we're going to be spending most of our days just harvesting corn and tomatoes. Thankfully, not the blood god. That would be a poor thing to harvest. dog. And now, what's the weather like tomorrow? Oh, come on, rain. Such a comfortable Sunday, if you say so.
pet the cows. Hand out gifts. It's Sunday, so... Anne should be in the church. Now, if I remade this game, they'd have a little bit more of a schedule. Days would last a little longer. I keep talking about a remake of this game. God, the temptation is growing in me just to start making assets in Blender. I want to see this game in a modern light. Ah, milk, the life-giving nectar of the cows. Wait, what? That's not a sensible sentence. Okay, so... Now we move on to feeding them. After this, the gifts. Maybe I'll speak to the mayor. You know what, I'm probably not going to speak to the mayor. There's no reason to even talk to the mayor most of the time. There's no reason to talk to quite a few of the NPCs. I mean, sure, they're good flavor for the world. But their English dialogue is very poorly translated. I feel like the only big effort in the translation went to the girls that you marry in the game, but I don't feel like they put enough effort into that still. It is a very perplexing thing. And again, this went on to sell 100,000, well, over 100,000 copies in its uh, first year of release. So this was a huge success, and they went on to make a whole franchise off of it, so I'm not going to question it. It really doesn't always feel like a game should succeed when it does, but you're glad when it does when it's something like this. I imagine my taste in video games would have been very different if I hadn't been introduced to this series or if it hadn't succeeded. Imagine a world without farming sim games. I mean, it would have eventually happened anyways. But imagine... Just, just imagine it. It feels weird. 
to imagine a world without Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons for me. Just because the game, the game series has been going for 24 years now. I don't remember how many games there are for the series, but there's a lot. And there's just an absurd amount of content for each injury, too. They go on forever. As evidenced by the Harvest Moon SNES playthrough here, having almost 100 parts. Well... It is when I'm going to go through the editing anyways. Right now, no. I'm only on part 90. I think I'm on part 90. I have it in my notes over there. I keep track of everything I do for the channel in a little notebook. But, uh... Dunno. It took me three years to fill up this notebook. It's almost full, though. There's about uh, 15 pages left. I always date the day I recorded and make a line out from under it and everything like that. It's really easy. Organizational skills are really not hard to obtain. You know, when I was a kid, focusing on when I was a kid, because I played this game when I was a kid, uh, Pete, my, my mother admired my organizational skills, and it really just showed how disorganized she was, because I am not the most organized person in the world. I am quite organized. Like, I sort everything. Except for my memes. Apparently people hate that. But, uh... Yeah, apparently it was... Something my mother felt the need to comment on. That I was incredibly well organized. To be fair, I do sort everything like I said, but it feels really weird that a 40 plus year old person had to the organ had less organizational skills than I think I was 10. Yeah, I think I was 10. Less organizational skills than a 10 year old. Oh boy, that's the end of the video actually. Okay. Hopefully it rains sometime in the last month here. If you guys like my stuff, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description below if you want to support my channel. Thank you all, and I will see you tomorrow for more. Bye.